Hello everyone. In this video, let us solve some exercise problems like uh, 16, 17 and 18. Find the power absorbed by each element in the figure. So, they have given three elements and for each element, we have to find the power absorbed. So, one thing we remember is if the current is entering the positive terminal, then it is the power absorbed. Power absorbed. If the current is entering the negative terminal, then it will be power delivered. Okay, power delivered. Or we can say if there is a positive terminal and if the current is leaving from the positive terminal, not entering, if it is leaving from the positive terminal, then it is power delivered. Okay, if it is leaving from the negative terminal, then it is power absorbed. So, these are the points that you have to remember before solving these type of problems. And another thing is, if there is a power absorbed like something 40 watts, then the power delivered will be just the negative of that. Okay, if the power delivered is 50 watts, okay, then power absorbed will be again it will be the negative or whatever it is the opposite sign if it is plus you have to take minus if it is minus you have to take plus okay these are the things that you have to remember so in this case you can see that the 4 ampere current is entering this element okay that is through the positive terminal since it is entering the positive terminal that will be power absorbed right so here we have to find the power absorbed only so for this element power absorbed will be equal to plus V into I. So, what is V? It is 10, current is 4. So, this is 40 watts. Okay, that is 40 watts. Next, for the second one, you can see that the current is leaving the positive terminal. If the current is leaving the positive terminal, that is power delivered, right? So, here power delivered is equal to V into Y, that is 12 into 2, that is 24 watts. But we have to find the power absorbed. So, the power absorbed will be the opposite sign of this. So, that is minus 24 watts. Okay. And in this you can see minus 3 ampere, it is entering the negative terminal. That means it is leaving the positive terminal. That means power delivered will be equal to minus 3 into 5. Minus 3 into 5 minus 15. So, power absorbed will be equal to 15 watts opposite sign. Or else you can take this as same uh, minus plus 5 volts. But instead of minus 3 ampere which is entering, I can take the reverse of this which is 3 amperes. So, we can see 3 amperes it is entering the positive terminal. So, 3 into 5, 15 watts will be power absorbed. Okay. Here minus 3 ampere is entering. If I uh, entering negative terminal, if it is leaving, it will be opposite sign. So, minus 3 into minus plus 3 amperes. So, that means the current is flowing in the same direction, right? So, it is entering the positive terminal. If it is entering the positive terminal, power is absorbed. Okay. So, these are the power absorbed by the elements. So, now let us see this problem. This shows a circuit with 5 elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If P1 is equal to minus 2, not 5 watts. If P2 is equal to 60 watts. P4 is equal to 45 watts. P uh, P, uh, P4 is equal to 45, P5 is equal to 30 watts. What is a cal uh, calculate this power? Okay, received or delivered by the element 3. So, you know that in a network, if I take the sum of the powers, okay, that should be equal to 0. Sum of powers should be equal to 0. Okay, so we can say here it is minus 2 not 5, power 2 is equal to 60, power 3 we don't know. Power 4 that is equal to 45. Power 5 is equal to 30. So, sum of this should be equal to 0. So, P3 will be equal to 205 minus 60 minus 45 minus 30. So, minus 60 minus 30 is minus 90. Minus 205 and 45 that will be equal to 160. Okay, 160. So, 160 minus 90 is 130. Sorry, 70. 70 watts that is a power delivered power delivered or power absorbed whatever it is received that will be 70 watts okay so the next question 
is calculate the power absorbed or supplied by the each element. So first I will take this figure. So you can see this is a positive terminal. The current 4 ampere it is leaving the positive terminal. That means power is delivered by this 9 volt. Okay. So power delivered will be 9 into 4 that is 36 watts. So the power delivered by this is 36 watts. Now we can see the 4 ampere is entering the 6 volts. So that is positive terminal. It is entering the positive terminal. So power absorbed by the 6 volt element. Okay, this element is 4 into 6, 24 watts. That is power absorbed. And again, we can see this second element here. The 4, okay, 4 is entering the positive terminal. Once again, power absorbed by 3 volts. This one is 4 into 3, that is 12 watts. And in any network, we can say power absorbed plus power delivered. That should be equal to Okay, power absorbed should be equal to power delivered. Okay, power absorbed should be equal to power delivered. So, what is power absorbed? It is 24 plus 12. What is this one? 36. Is this equal to it? Yes. Okay, because if I take it in terms of absorbed, that will be minus 360 volts. So, total power it will be equal to 0. Okay, so power delivered should be equal to power absorbed. So, in this particular case, See the current 3 ampere, it is leaving the positive terminal. So, power delivered will be equal to 24 into 3 that is equal to 72 watts. Here 3 amperes is entering this. So, that means it is absorbed. So, 10 into 3 is 30 watts. And here we can see this is entering the positive terminal. So, 3 into 3 into I naught, 3 into 3, 9. Okay. So, this is power absorbed. It is 27 watts and again here it is entering the positive terminal. So, it is absorbed 3 into 5 is 15 watts. So, 30 plus 27 is 57, 57 plus 15 is 72 watts. Total power absorbed, power delivered is 72 watts. So, power delivered is equal to power absorbed. We have cross verified this. So, these are the power delivered or absorbed by the each element. So this is all about the exercise problem still 18.